So in the previous class we have seen that the girl thinks that nobody loves her. She thinks that everyone loves her sister. So she thinks of going away and to live in some interesting places. She thinks of becoming a hermit and wander in the mountains and forest. She thinks of eating fruits on trees and make friends with birds and animals. So let's continue the remaining. Or I could ride away on a camel and live in a desert. At night I will sleep in a tent. Or better still, I'll travel to the North Pole and live in an igloo made of ice. I'll make friends with the polar bear. She thought of riding a camel and live in desert. At night, thought of sleeping in tent or better to travel to the North Pole and live in igloo. She also thought of making friends with the polar bear. What's that? Something soft against my back. Oh, it's baby. What are you doing here? You silly. Go away. Don't smile at me. Why do you follow me? Tuck, tuck. Is there nobody else in the house to look after you? Don't come here. You may bump into something and I'll get all the scolding. Why do you have to do everything that I do? Copycat. As she was sitting behind sofa and thinking all this, her younger sister came and tapped her back without her knowledge. She saw her younger sister was smiling at her. So she asked her, what are you doing here, you silly? You know the smaller children, what they do, even though you scold them, they don't understand. They will keep on smiling, right? So she's telling to her younger sister, what are you doing here, you silly? Go away, don't smile at me. Why do you follow me? Okay, is there no one else in the house to look after you? The elder sister is scolding to the younger one. She's telling, don't come here. So the younger sister is coming, following her. So because of that reason, the girl is telling that, don't come here. You may bump into something and I'll get all the scolding. So the girl is telling that, don't follow her. She may bump, means she may dash into something and she will be getting all the scolding. You know, usually what happens when your younger ones fall down or get hurt, you are the one you're getting scolding because they are following you. Whatever you do, the younger ones, they follow you, isn't it? So, so the girl is scolding her younger sister. She's telling that you copycat, why are you following me? Why do you have to do everything that I do? You know the smaller ones, usually what they do. Whatever you are doing, they will follow you. So you have to be very careful whatever you are doing, okay? Oh, never mind, really. The people in this house, they should look after her better. I am grown-up girl now. I can manage on my own. But what about this little baby? Come, baby, let's crawl out from here. So the girl is telling that, Oh, no one is there to take care of you in this house. Okay? So she is telling that oh, it's better to take her, take care of her. Okay? Because she understood that she is elder. She can take care of herself. But the baby, you know the baby, what they do. You need to take care of them. Else they will go here and there. They will dash. They will fall. They may get hurt. But you are grown up. So she understood that the girl... The girl understood that she is grown up and she can manage by her own. But the baby, she can't manage by herself. So she is telling that, let's crawl out from here. She is telling, let's go out from here. Okay? So the girl is telling that she will take her, the baby girl, along with her. Else she will keep on crying and nobody will no, why she is crying, isn't it? So because of that reason, she is telling to the baby that she will take along with her when she will go to visit or to um, some interesting places. I really can't go away when you are small. So she is telling that she can't go away as she is very small now. So she is telling that I will wait till you are getting little older. Understood?